it is going to be so sweet throwing a cast net out of this kayak. Look at all the room, man. <laughs> oh, they're too quick for me, guys. Yeah, we got one. All right. All right, all right, all right. And he jumped out. Son of a gun. One of the cool things about this kayak is it's like an advertisement on the water for Old Town. Every time I get out on the water, people inquire about this kayak, ask me all kinds of questions and yeah. And a lot of people say that they recognize the brand name Old Town, which is so cool. All right, mullet. We need some mullet, man. Smart mullet, man. They're hanging in right, right close to the oysters. They're right in front of the kayak. Right in front of the kayak. Get any of the elusive mullet. No, I did not. Dang it. I thought for sure I had them that time, guys. I thought for sure I had them up in the shallow. I tried to get mullet for about an hour and a half. I had two times I had a mullet in my net. Both times he got out. They're hanging out over the oyster bars. I did catch one little mahara, so I got that, but I broke down, went to the bait shop, got two and a half dozen shrimp because I found this a place over here the other day when my son, where the snook were hanging out. I was catching snook one right after another, and I caught a nice redfish. So we're gonna head over that way, see if we can't get on some fish here with some live shrimp, and then closer to sunset, we'll switch over to a top water plug and we'll throw top water. All right, let's get on it, baby. All right, let's see if we can make a decent cast under that dock. Oh my God, the perfect cast. So you guys, today I'm fishing with 40 pound test leader with a four aught circle hook. Um, the other day I was leadered up with 20 pound test. I thought I was fishing with 25 pound test and a one aught J hook octopus hook. That's what I usually fish like 25 pound test leader. But I got broke off so many times the past couple videos. I'm like, you know what? I need to bump up to 40 pound test. Even though I thought I was fishing with 25, it's still playing a little bit safer today. So I'm going with 40 pound test. We'll see. If we don't get any bites, I can always change it, right? And I'm using a four out circle hook because I caught a lot of snook here, but that big red fish that I caught the other day, he actually swallowed that, ooh, there's a hit. He actually swallowed that number one hook. Yeah, that's a hit. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh man, he is way over there. He is way over there. Easy JC, easy JC. Don't force him. Here we go, here we go. Now we can pull him out. Oh, I lost him. It was a nice snook. Dang it. That was a nice snook. He hit it there and he took it way over there. 40 pound test leader. Good choice, JC. We're gonna flip this little guy right here underneath that dock. I got a feeling he ain't gonna last very long. Oh, flipped him on the dock. There we go. I got a feeling he ain't gonna last too long. Yep, there he is. GoPro, start recording. Oh, he got off. Dang it. Dang it. Two casts, two snook. <laughs> In the middle of the afternoon. Oh, I wish I had some more baits like that. <laughs> Crazy, right? Two casts, two fish. If I lose another one, I am getting rid of the circle hook. I guarantee you that. I'm going to show you guys how I hook my shrimp. I turn them upside down like that, and right in front of the black spot, I put the hook in right in front and I bring it from underneath the shrimp right straight up out through the top of the head. That guy will stay alive and swim around like that and it helps hide the hook too. All right, I retied my leader because it was frayed a little bit. Let's get back on them. All right, guys, here we go. Third cast. Oh, perfect cast right under the dock. Captain Todd always says, let it soak, let it soak. I wonder if I spooked him. Well, I hooked two fish. Obviously, I spooked them. Maybe I should go up and fish the front of the dock. Oh my God, they're hitting over there. Let's go over there. Yep, there he is. Oh my God. He is all the way back up in the mangroves already. We got fish. We got fish, y'all. We got fish. And they are hitting on the 40 pound test in the middle of the day. So, 
I really need to up my game and quit fishing with 25 pound toast. Look, look, just look at all the bait. That's why they're all here. There's bait everywhere. Yep, there he is. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Circle hook, circle hook. I don't know guys, I might be switching from this circle hook. Oh, I missed him. I missed another one. All right, I'm, I'm changing hooks, guys. I can't do it. I can't do it. I've missed too many on the circle hook. I dropped a shrimp. I thought he fell in the bottom of the kayak. He fell in the cup holder. <laughs> circle hook's gone. one aught Eagle Claw, J-hook with a uh, improved clinch knot. <laughs> now let's see who the boss is. Oh, I just dropped a shrimp. Things are too expensive to be letting them jump out like that. Sun needs to get down just about behind the house there. We'll get a nice, really, really nice shadow edge. It'll be some good, some good top water. Some good top water stuff going on. My brain is already saying switch to 25 pound test, JC. And I'm thinking, I don't want to do that, brain. Oh my gosh, I hit right on the edge of the piling. Couldn't have been more perfect cast. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Snapper time. See ya. No snookies at home. Some of these docks just look amazing. And they're not producing anything. This happened to me the other day. I was fishing a dock. I'm like, dang, there's got to be some big snook hunting under here. But nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, there he is. That's a hit. There he is. There we go. That's a good fish. There we go. So there was a snook under there. There was a snook under that dock. Here I am talking all that trash. He's got a lot of heart. He's got a lot of heart. Yes, he does. And look at that. That J hook got him right in the corner of the mouth. Little snook shake. Little snook shake. Nice. Nice. Getting the little snookies on the shrimp. He's about 18 inches. Oh, see ya. He got away. That was a long time in between snook hookups right there. A long time. <laughs> I'm glad there was a snook under that dog. All right, well, the plan is working. Let's get back on it. This little corner right here looks really snooky. Really snooky. Oh, I think this is a shallow bar. That's right. It's a very shallow bar. All right. Not the corner that you want. Oh, 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 fish on, baby. Fish on, that's a big snapper there. That is a big snapper. That would be a keeper. Wow, nice. Thanks for the catch, buddy. See ya. Keeper mangrove snapper. It has been a while since I caught that snook. I am rigged up with the topwater lure on my other rod, 40 pound test leader still, and we're starting to get a really good shadow on the mangrove edge. The sun, ah, I got about an hour and a half before it goes down. Throw some topwater here, see if we can't get some action on topwater, so see what happens. Shallow, 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 shallow.
There he is. There we go. Oh, he's soaking. He soaked me. Oh, I love topwater fishing. Yeah, you ain't gonna. You ain't snapping forty-pound test. He just whacked himself on the motor. <laughs> Good snow. Yeah. Nice. Got him a mouthful of Zara Spook. Nice snook, man. Really nice snook. See ya! Check my leader. Yep, we good. Do we have another one up here? All right, guys, we are on the move. I was hoping that area was going to produce. It's been a long time since I caught that little snook. The water's really dirty over there. It's not moving at all. It's pretty good ways away from the main channel. So let's get out of there. And I'm heading back over here to where we know there's some fish around that dock. And I also caught some fish on top water back over this way the other day too. So I'm heading that way. Pelicans are still having fun over here. There we go. Ooh, top water action, Mr. Snooky. Come on out and have a little Zara spook for dinner. A little spooky, spooky. Come on out, yeah, and have a little spooky, spooky. I think I'm gonna get back over there and fish with live shrimp. I think maybe the tide's turned around and starting to move a little bit now. Oh, these pelicans are gonna screw everything up. They're just diving all over there where the snook were at the other day. Tough breaks, JC. Tough breaks, dude. Time to fish with some live shrimps. Give me some love shrimp. Give me a love shrimp. fish he is way over on the other side I lost him I lost him that was a big fish he was way over on the other side oh my god never would have got that fish out of there he was all the way up underneath the dock I was trying to get the kayak positioned yeah. that last fish hit it there and he jumped on the other side of that ladder that's how far he ran with that it was a good sized fish too nothing like the other day can't believe I lost that fish on the end of the dock. Can't believe I lost him. Again, I lost three fish. Three nice fish on the end of that dock today. Darn it. Oh, I got one big shrimp left. I mean, I have several shrimp in there, but I've got one big one in here. I think we're good here. We did it. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Good fish. Good fish. All right, man. Boy, he slammed that thing. Nice. There we go, baby. All right. I was wondering where the jacks were. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nice. 
Thanks for the catch, buddy. See ya. Rad reelers, I lost a lot more big fish than I caught today, but I sure did have a good time. Make sure you check out the link in the description area to the Old Town 106 Sportsman powered by Mancota. Awesome kayak, you guys. Everybody get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya. <laughs>